about today. Had a really short day at work. We did a a kitchen, some linoleum. I work doing installing flooring for a living, hardwood floors, laminates, everything. But uh brought this guy out. Second one I ever made. Ooh, those hooks are still sharp. <laughs> Second one I ever made, man. I made this out of a chair leg that we were tossing out. We we're tossing out this old hardwood chair. I mean, those connections are horrible. My connections now are better, but that, I mean, I literally made this out of whatever I had laying around. Um, went to uh, Taps Plastic and got the, uh, the plastic lip here. They got a little bin where you can just grab the scraps. I tried to offer them money and they're like, no thanks, man. So Taps Plastic over on uh, Auburn Boulevard, pretty awesome, man. I get all my lips there for my uh, fishing stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna tie this guy on and go out in some of them topwater areas while I was getting close and getting big bites. But I couldn't quite get onto those fish because I was on the shore. I couldn't cast far enough, but I got my raft today. I'm gonna go hammer these fish, man. Urban bass layers. Bestlers out here, so yeah, I'm having one uh, heck of a day here. My pump took a crap on me, and I brought my other pump out here at my raft, and it broke. And guess what? I got a hole in my raft, also. So I floated for all of 15 minutes. I got two bites over there by the trees. And now I'm stuck here shore fishing. I'm gonna have to pack all my stuff up and walk my cart all the way out of here because my stuff's all jacked up. I'm gonna take my freaking raft home, patch it, gotta get a new pump, gotta get a new electric pump. I guess, I guess it was time for that electric pump. I've had that thing for three years. Kinda bummed out, man. Got out here, expected I was gonna fish. Something told me not to bring the raft and I brought it anyways and I sat there for an hour and a half trying to get it pumped up. Never got fully pumped up, so I was just sitting in the water the whole time. Basically soaked. It sucks. Um, we got fish busting over here. They're they're still like on beds or they're fry garters. There's this tree right over here. I cast out over there, and I got this gigantic blow up. And he blew up twice, and that was it. There was nothing else. I pitched everything back in there for about 20 minutes. Nothing. So I don't know what's going on here, man. I've had a few small blow ups. Now the moon is not up in the sky, and I have a theory in my head. When the moon is up, the fish will feed up. When the moon is down, uh, moon underfoot, fish feed down. I'm thinking it's like jigs, bottom stuff today, because there's no moon. Now I'm going to put this theory to test over the next couple months, and I'm going to keep fishing these styles of top water during the new moons and go and drop down to the bottom and fish mid-grade and the bottom of the pond on the opposites. When it's going out of a new moon, or excuse me, when it's going out of a full moon and you got that moon, this morning the moon was up until about noon. It was really high in the sky. I got off work at noon, didn't get out here till about two. The moon was gone and I have not landed a fish today. So rough, really rough. Um, I really think it has to do a lot with the pressure, just like in the delta when you got the moon up, you got the you got tides that rise and they drop and all that stuff. And out here, the it affects the, these waters also. It affects creeks. It affects the ponds. It might not be a rise and drop of fluctuation, but it's the pressure that the fish feel, and that that pressure that those fish feel, it will really put a hurting on you, man. Oh, I'm struggling. It's really hot. I'm trying to stay in the shade. I just, I'm not mentally on it today. I fish are busting out there right where I've been casting. But, I mean, I can't I can't get none today. I don't know what it is, man. I was killing it out here, too. I mean, I walked up and down this thing twice. 
Um, I got frustrated with my raft. I think that's what it is that I'm just not on my game because this thing took a dump on me. I mean, I got all my gear out here. I brought two poles. I mean, I planned on fishing this guy out in the open areas and I brought some homemade baits that I was going to try, but I guess I'm not going to be doing that today. That's kind of lame. Unless I can tie him on and cast him out, but I really don't really don't like tying on stuff when I'm on the shore and risking losing it. So anyway, urban bass layers. Not really a great day. Not really a great video. <laughs> Getting my butt kicked today. I'm going to rest in the shade, drink some water. I may just pack up and go home. Then again, every time I do that, I don't catch fish in the days that I stay. I catch the big ones. So maybe, just maybe I'll try to air this freaking thing up. And I don't know how I'm going to fix that pump to air it up, but I might be able to. I might not.